Do they say that your morning routine sets the tone for the entire rest of your day? But sometimes we all know our mornings can look like this. Scrolling on our phones until we roll out of bed at the last minute possible, we know that's not good for us. So in today's video, I challenged myself to complete 10 healthy morning habits for an entire week to try to set up my days for success and hopefully this video will help you to also find some simple ideas for your morning routine as well. These are the 10 healthy habits I'm following today, let's get started. I started off this challenge really strong on a Saturday. My goal for this challenge is to be able to maintain a consistent routine that will leave me feeling refreshed for the rest of the day, but also one that is realistic and easy to implement on a daily basis. I'm just gonna do a light skincare routine and no makeup because I'm gonna be showering after the gym anyways. I used to get really confused on people who go to the gym in the mornings because I'm like, do you just do your skincare routine twice? But I think like the answer is yes. At least that's from what I've seen and what I do. <laughs> My skincare routine is probably my favorite part of the morning because my skin is something that's really important to me. It's something that I've struggled with a lot in the past with acne, with eczema, and staying consistent with my skincare routine has had so many benefits. I'm gonna be honest, I am not a morning workout type of girly. It just does not fit in with my schedule usually. So I'm really interested and curious to see how I'm gonna fit it into my schedule this week. So I just finished my workout and I don't have to commute to my gym or anything because it's just in my apartment complex. I feel like my skin has been looking better right now. I've been trying this new thing where I put like aquaphor on my really dry spots because the winter is so deadly for my skin. I have eczema, my skin starts flaking off, my skin gets all red. So I'm just trying to do everything as much as possible to keep it moisturized and I think it's actually looking pretty good. What are some of the stuff that you guys are manifesting this year? Okay, let's go eat breakfast. Normally, I'm not a huge breakfast person. I like to eat a really big brunch rather than a breakfast and a lunch, but I've heard that it was not good for your stomach to drink coffee on an empty stomach. So that's why I'm trying to eat breakfast with my coffee every single morning in this challenge to see if I notice a difference. So Mike is currently making breakfast right now and this marks the end of first day of doing these morning habits. I'm feeling great right now. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do in the mornings is this five minute stretch by Maddie Morrison. I feel like it takes no time at all and it's really refreshing after being cooped up sleeping all night. So really highly recommend that you guys try it out as well. Good morning. It is Sunday today and day two of my healthy morning habits. If you go and get motivated together, I always post affirmations and positive vibes in my Instagram group, Becca's Besties. So you can join my group chat if you would like. I'll have the link to it down below. Let's start our mini workout of the day. Okay, so today's affirmation is just always be the better person and make your intentions pure. What and who you are is what you will attract. Pain is inevitable and it will always exist, but if you focus on understanding what you're feeling and why you're feeling it, you will overcome it. She doesn't know that. I don't know exactly what you guys have gone through last year or within your lives, but at the end of the day, I'm proud of all of you for being able to push through it all and become the positive person that you are today. It's really hard to be able to still be a good person when sometimes you go through these difficult situations, but let's just continue making this year our best year yet and try to be able to get through it together. Sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on First Avenue, cause 
sometimes I By the end of day two, I was still feeling really good about all of these different healthy habits that I was implementing and I think that I was able to develop a really good routine so that I could put everything within the one hour schedule that I had. That's when I go. everybody today is monday it's so annoying when you like try to fall asleep and then you can't but anyways let's get today started today i didn't wake up feeling with as much energy as i usually do because i couldn't fall asleep last night very well i feel like sometimes at night i overthink and i have a lot of anxiety which makes it hard for me to fall asleep but it's okay not every single day you'll be at your 100 percent just finished 10 minutes on the treadmill and I thought it would say today's quote slash affirmation of the day which is if it's out of your hands it deserves freedom from your mind too I feel like this is so true because I find myself worrying a lot about things that are outside of my control but despite the rough start to my morning routine I definitely felt a lot better and it was really nice to be able to do things on autopilot and do a lot of things that I care about within my morning routine to feel empowered and inspired for the rest of the day. Tuesday was so much better and one thing that I decided was instead of doing a full-on workout in the mornings I would just go on the treadmill for a 10 to 20 minutes this way I can be able to work out in the evenings like I like but I also am able to get my heart rate up within the morning and I know so many people say that oh you have to work out in the mornings to be productive and get it over with but I think the most productive morning routine is one that works with you your preferences and your schedule and it's okay to deviate from what considered normal if you want to start building out your skincare routine it's really important to find out the skincare routine that works for your specific skin type so don't be influenced by the products that are really hyped up and I want you to try to experiment things for yourself I think that what I've learned is that finding a balance between the activities and the habits that you have in your life is something that is also really important because it's a lot better to do something every single day for five minutes than to do it really intensely for one day and then not at all afterwards. One thing within this week too that I've realized is that even though that I have a routine that I want to follow on a daily basis, it doesn't get boring because I can be able to try new things within the routine as well. For example, switching up coffee for matcha sometimes or maybe even doing a different exercise or a different stretch one day. But those are all ways that you can be able to switch up your routine because I think that sometimes a lot of people ask me, does it get boring sometimes? And at the end of the day, I really like to be able to have routine and we can be able to try new things within our routine as well i just realized that i totally forgot to ice roll my face today it's honestly just super refreshing on tuesday i also filmed the entire morning routine in greater detail i posted it up on my channel as a morning routine for the winter time so if you want to watch that video afterwards, you can check it out. But I just elaborated on more of what I really liked about certain habits and certain parts of this routine. But overall, day four went super well and I was really excited to wake up the next morning. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. I feel like the week is passing by so quickly. I did not have the best sleep last night, but that's okay. It's super sunny today, which is awesome. Let's get our morning started. 
even if I didn't have the best sleep on Wednesday, I still woke up feeling really happy and being able to look forward to what I had to do this morning. And it just made me reflect on how grateful I am to be where I am today and to be able to have the sunlight flow through the windows, to be able to have a body to stretch in. So those are some things that I was really grateful and looking forward to doing this morning. Handle so I can't hold it because it's scalded. Throughout this week of 10 healthy habits, one thing that I have been really loving is to be able to watch motivating YouTube videos as I am on the treadmill. I feel like it starts my day off with such a positive vibe and I love to be able to consume content that's inspiring and motivating in the mornings while I'm doing something that's good for my body. This is honestly just going to be my outfit today, but I started my period today and I really could not be bothered. So today I just set up my workspace on the dining table because it's super sunny outside and I want to enjoy the sun while it still lasts. My matcha, my SSD, I have my matcha over here, a laptop bagel and dipping it in guacamole and then my five minute journal and my agenda. By Thursday, I can already see some of the differences within myself that this morning routine has really helped me with. For example, eating breakfast with my coffee, even if it's a small breakfast in the morning, has made my stomach feel so much better throughout the daytime. And I think that I've been able to find the perfect amount of exercise in the mornings. I don't know why, but whenever I speed up clips of me stretching, I can never not laugh at them. It just looks so funny. Throughout the week, I was also able to time every single aspect of my morning routine so that I could fit it in less than one hour because I really enjoy my beauty sleep and I don't like waking up super early in the morning unless I have to. So I think that I've been really able to find that balance there as well and incorporate these healthy habits that don't take too much time but still makes me feel good for the rest of the day. Friday finally last day of this challenge and also it's the weekend tomorrow so I'm excited for that I'm happy we made it here together <laughs> Personally, one of my favorite things that I implemented in this week's morning routines is to be able to go on that short treadmill walk in the mornings and I think that's something that I might want to do as well as to be able to go outside for those walks and to be able to get that fresh air in the morning. Additionally, I've never thought of myself as somebody who really liked to eat breakfast but I think that being able to eat breakfast with my coffee in the mornings had made me feel so much better physically so that's something that I want to continue doing as well not to mention that every time i wake up in the morning i always feel so much better after drinking that water that's placed beside me on my bedside so 100 if you have the chance to put a water bottle just beside your bed and take a few sips in the morning before you go about your day Take me home. Go down. 
I was really happy with myself that at the end of these seven days, I knew that I tried my best to complete every single one of these healthy habits every single morning and I was setting myself up for success every single day. Usually, I'm the type of person that allows myself some leeway sometimes, you know, I can skip some certain things, some certain days, but I was really happy that I was disciplined with myself this week, especially throughout the bad days as well. I know that sometimes some of these habits might not seem big and significant, but it's the consistency of doing it over and over again every single day that makes that big difference at the end. I want to also recognize that everybody has different schedules, everybody has different interests, and if you're not in a position to be able to have a super elaborate morning routine, that is completely okay. Some people, they work night shifts, some people, they have to work overnight, and that can be really difficult for them. But at the end, I think that you have to do what is best for you. If it stands in the rain, spend the nights, the days to stay in LA. All the things that I do, all these little moments, I'm glad I get to spend them. Hopefully this video was able to motivate you and give you guys some ideas on what you can do throughout your morning routines as well. Some of them take longer, some of them don't take as long, but at the end, what is important is that it makes you feel good for yourself. Listening